Here is the mechanical uh, hard disk that is being tested in this video. This is a modern fast computer. It's running Windows 8.1 Enterprise. Uh, I will show in this video how to install Blade RF and how to record wideband uh, FM with it. It is now the 64 bit version and it has 64 gigabyte of memory and half of it is usable according to this information. Uh, here is more in detail for those who understand these things I don't do. For example it says that physical memory 32 gigabyte, virtual memory 32 gigabyte. I don't know. I don't have any page files not necessary on this machine and it would be very big. Here are the disks. I am now on disk 2, partition 2, which is C colon, as you can see. It is a partition of 146 gigabytes. And I click on it and look at properties and hardware. And it's this one. And properties. Uh, I don't know what could be interesting here. But if you are interested in the hardware information, this should be available on the internet. It's just a normal modern uh, mechanical drive. I will uh, first configure Linrod. It has been running Blade RF before but I'm going to make some changes. So S first for setup and I change the size of the fonts because this is for this video. So I make it 3. Process priority. I can make it a little bit uh, better than normal. So I put 1 and there are eight processors here and uh, I don't need to allow Linrod to block any of them so I put zero. Timer resolution uh, I don't change that from the default which is 20 milliseconds zero and no auto start and the screen size I want to specify as percent, so I say N for no and 98% uh, and screen height let's say 65% and then I have to save this setup, exit from Linrod and then start again and you can see the screen is a little bit bigger I want the rest of the screen for uh, performance monitor and other stuff. I set the Blade RF parameters by pressing U first. And then I can see now that the volume is a little bit low. Uh, so I increase here. Maybe this is going to be better. No, that's too much. Like that, maybe. Uh, I want to select Blade RF and that is A first. Uh, I have to click to get focus on the proper window. A and then J. And there is only one, so it becomes auto-selected. I do not want to make the input directly to the AD converters, so I say no here. 
uh, sampling speed. I want to record the FM band, so I make it, let's say, uh, 25 megahertz. So it means so. And resampling factor, I don't want to make a resampling to get a lower speed into Linrod, so I make this zero. And the bandwidth is going to be 25 megahertz, and I do not want to enable any filter, because there is no filter as wide as that. But I do have a filter, and I press the wrong button. Doesn't matter, I say, let's say, 750. And this combination is not okay, so I say no. Uh, and then I say again, uh, 25 megahertz and zero. And enable filter, no. Select gain mode, and that is sensitivity because uh, there is a hardware filter in front of the blade RF that removes everything outside the FM band. So it's one. And frequency I don't care about. And use the expansion board, yes. Because otherwise we cannot receive the FM band. And then X to exit, and don't forget here to press W. And then go into FM mode, that is E. And I want a fairly large bandwidth. This is FM, there is no need to uh, compute big transforms, so I'd make it 6 kilohertz. And that gives a Fourier transform size of 8000. Uh, the window best performance is with window number 9. That gives the best dynamic range. It takes some uh, extra CPU resources, but this is a very powerful machine, so that is not the problem. First forward FFT version. The fastest is number four. And I split processing on, let's say, four threads. And enter and enter. And then uh, we need to have a suitable bandwidth for the IF. Uh, input is 25 megahertz. And I want to divide by about 100 to get 250 kilohertz. So that will be 64. And 64 is 10 is 2 to power 6, if I recall correctly. We will see. And then run. And here is the FM band. I click on something. And I have to enable the loudspeaker. I can see that the bandwidth... Here we are. And here is the filter that fits an FM station. And I can see that the music does not reach the sound card. And it's not better now. I have to bring up the volume. Let's 
seems I have to move the loudspeaker. Okay, so here we are. It goes now from 88 up to 108 megahertz. So here I can start saving. That's S. And these fonts are ugly, I can see now. Uh, I didn't know, I will have to change that someday. Uh, I make the file name just X. So now Linrod is saving X.raw. Uh, I have to make them quiet. X.raw in the Linrod data di directory. Uh, I can look with this piriform defragler analyze and you can see it is writing here And I make analyze again. This is the speed by which uh, Linrod is writing on the hard disk. So I leave it running for a while because then I want to listen to it to demonstrate that uh, there are no glitches and no other problems. So analyze again. And analyzing takes more time. You can see here. Uh, I can look at the performance monitor. That is task manager. And this does not tell me how low this distributed on different course but you can see here there was a lot of load when I started the task manager and that was a little bit before 1856 let's see if there are glitches there the uh, information here it says that the disk is used uh, between 50 and 80 percent so this should be perfectly okay and uh, data is not storing up in a big buffer somewhere so there should be no need to record for a longer time than this. I go to Linrod and press S. You can see it is blinking here to indicate it's writing a file. So I press S again and now it's not writing anymore. Uh, then I make X to exit and X again and uh, let's see if I have a file here. Three? No. So I have to create some place to keep uh, the information. If I look at analyze with this 
you can see this is the size of the file and uh, it's uh, defragmented according to this information and I know from before it will take many hours to defragment it but it's not going to change performance Uh, to play this file in Linrad I have to make an information where the file is stored and I put it in a special file as you can see here uh, this is where the file was saved when I just made an X as the file name and I save this in uh, save as in the linrad directory which I have uh, here linrad and save as adfile what? Aha! Uh, no! It's not the right directory. I forgot that. Linrod Blade RF here. And save it as ADFILE. Save. And then uh, I don't know why this is still open here and then uh, one play the first file that is named in AD file one and in FM mode that's E and don't repeat endlessly and here we are hmm e uh, x p I have to do something. Storage time zero. Baseband storage time. That is the smallest available. And then X, X, and then again one. E. No. old form of music Sånt där gammalt tåg med kuper. Vi sitter där sida vid sida, muskler mot mjukt. Vi dundrar fram genom polska skogar på väg hem från Berlin till Moskva. Han säger att han ska skvara en stumfilm. Jag ska vara en ballerina. Han ska vara konstnär. Jag ska dansa för honom med koltunga ögonlock. Jag ber honom vara tyst. Jag ber honom att lyssna. Hör han havet långt där borta? Jag vill berätta för honom om Mary som sänkte sin smärta i havet. Det finns en roll för honom i den berättelsen. Han ska vara Jack Rackham, Calico Jack, första älskare. Han vägrar. Ta tag i min haka och fyller min mun så att inga ord kan komma ut. Och gör det som han brukar. Jag sluter mina ögon och när jag öppnar dem igen ligger jag på knä. It's remarkable that the disk usage is now very small according to the task manager. Leken fortsätter ändå. Den är inte längre så rolig. Fem. 
Hasse gör han tre med kroksaben mellan tänderna det december. Jag åker till Lund för att lukta på saker. Stoppa fingrarna i bjärta burkar. And I don't remember at what time uh, I started this task manager and overloaded the process but I don't think there was any glitch at that time either. Värdsligt. And I don't play music because then YouTube will silence on those periods of time because of intellectual property rights on music. Det är befängt. Jag förstår att det är befängt. Men jag kan inte hjälpa det. Fötterna bestämmer. De bestämmer att jag är en flykting. Hjärtat slår och hoppet dör. Jag ser den tomma busshållplatsen och tror att jag har missat bussen. Där finns ingen. Ingen som står lutad mot busskuren och röker läven. Ingen som kramar ett kaotiskt hjärta och försöker gå. And to show that this really is the recording. Det vill säga jag står inte redan där. I can open one more copy of Linrad Blade RF. Here. And now press I. To run on the physical hardware. I. And I press here. And you can see the time, real time is 19.05. The recording was 18.58. To make life harder for this hardware, I'm going to save from the physical hardware pressing S and this file will be Y and enter. Aha, this crashed. X and then back. Now it's playing from the recording. And this one is still uh, recording a new file at the same time as this file is being uh, listened to. And here we have some stuttering. It can take only 20 megahertz. And this is now writing. And probably writing is okay. No. Disk is now 100%. And you can hear the stuttering. So this is too hard. Even for this fast computer. I have now changed the sampling speed. It is 40 megahertz for the Blade RF. And I have from about, what is it here? 77 megahertz up to 116, 117. And here is the local FM station. And I will make a recording at 40 megahertz. Press S. And then I give the file name on another partition which is much bigger. So I put it on M colon and call it X dot raw. Enter. And now it is saving. And here we are going to see something interesting. You can see that the memory is growing slowly. Uh, the disk active time is now 100%. And memory is glowing 
slowly and I don't know how long I will be able to record until the memory is full. Uh, you can see the time is now 20.57 and I will stop the video here and start to record video uh, when memory starts to be full. I have now been recording for quite some time, but memory has not been growing. The reason is that the recorder, it records video and that also goes to the same hard disk. So now when I started the uh, video recording program again, I expect it to increase a little the buffering. If I look here, uh, M was the drive, here. Ah, doesn't know the size yet. So, I will stop the recording here. The disk is now saving from memory. You can see how memory goes down when it continues to write. Den här tidningen. Och Sveriges Radios kulturkorrespondent Roger Wilson ser tillbaka på tidningens ofta kontroversiella so. utgivning. Uh. The amount of data that was stored in memory was not a very long time. You can see now all of it is saved. So it means that 40 megahertz can be saved for as much as there is space on the hard disk. But more than 40 megahertz is not possible on this machine with this hard disk. And probably when the entire file is saved, uh, let's stop Linrod, I will now know how big it is. And it is 63 gigabytes. And I will check it with Linrad. I expect there is no glitches in this recording. I will now play this 40 megahertz sampling rate and see what happens. So I press 3 and you can see there is an m colon x dot row for zero and fm mode and don't repeat it hmm? uh, I have too many programs open I have to close something I think, because when I did not use the video recorder, I did not get this out of memory problem. Three, zero, and uh, E, and no. And here we are. That's remarkable. It says out of memory. And there is 60 gigabytes of memory and very little is used. 32 should be available. 
I don't know what this is, but when Lindra tries to allocate memory, it fails. Efter han regn med tidvis mot i sikt i morgon bättre sikt på vänen. Söder och sydöst röst och sjön sydväst 7 till 11 ökande från i morgon bitt i tid till kunning 15. Torsdag eftermiddag något avtagande. Mot lite god sikt från i morgon bitt i regn och lokalt dålig sikt. Mellersta och norra öst och sjön sydväst tid till kunning 15. And you can hear there are no glitches. I natt allmänt 12 till kunning 16. Torsdag eftermiddag avtagande med början i väster. Mot lite god sikt från i morgon bitt i tidvis regn. And there is no uh, disk transfer rate. I don't know how this works. I don't understand it. But if I wait long enough, there will probably be some explanation to this. God sikt i bitter regn eller som är mot dålig sikt. Som viken väst 52, inte vid bottens kund tidvis växande. Now there are problems. I don't know if you can hear it, but there are glitches in the sound. I can go to Lindrad and press T. And you can see the sampling rate is no longer 40 megahertz. And now uh, the disk active time is... Hi. So the file must have been cached somewhere, somehow, by a clever operating system that doesn't report such things to me. Maybe it's a virtual memory that is involved somehow. And the speed is too low and uh, the sound is broken. I will try some music. And we are now at 20.59. I now press X and then B and play it once more. Det ökande till 11 till kunning 16 i morgon eftermiddag avtagande 8 till 13. Tidvis regn med måttet i dålig sikt i morgon efterhand god sikt på Skagerrak. Vänen Öresund, Bälten och sydvästra Östersjön, sydväst 5 till 10 ökande i natt 9 till kunning 15 i morgon förmiddag avtagande till 8 till 12 till kvällen väst. Efterhand regn med tidvis mot i sikt i morgon bättre sikt på vänen. Södra och sydöstra östersjön. Um, the interesting thing is to see when it starts to go out on the hard disk and uh, what happens when it tries to uh, read directly from the hard disk. This computer has very much memory. Uh, the reason is that there are uh, two processors and each one can have uh, four memories because there are four memory channels. It means I need eight memory channels. And that's why I need the fastest memory, they come as 8 gigabytes that fit in this machine. Now it's not working anymore. I thought I heard some glitches, but it's not so easy to hear. But it seems to be not on the output, on the input, sorry. Take some music. Så. 
I do not want to stay a long time on any music because that is going to give problems. This is the point 20, 59 and 20 when it started to read from the hard disk. And that can be compared to the previous uh, point in time when this happened. I don't remember, but it is earlier on in this recording. I have a solid state disk also in this computer and I now made a partition for Windows on it and that is going to be N so I save a recording there that is S and then N colon X dot row like that can listen while recording Det är ett minne som aldrig kommer att försvinna. Efter några veckor med cellgifter hade håret börjat falla av. Then we see Först lite och alla hoppas uh, på att det inte ska ramla av något mer. Uh, is faster. It's 50 between 25 and 50 percent, and that's less than we had on the mechanical disk. But maybe in the beginning there is a cache memory that is very fast, and when it has to save on the actual uh, this, I mean, on the non-volatile memory, it is a little bit slower. När håret började falla, då kunde inte min syster hålla sig längre. Och ju mer hår som föll, desto mer grät de. Jag stod där, bakom mamma, med apparaten i handen. Bet mig själv i läppen och hatade det jag gjorde. Gjorde mot mamma. Jag kände mig som en medbrottsling som plågade någon. So I sat around among the stations a little bit. This thing here, it's a spur on 97 megahertz. I don't know what that is. It's something with the blade RF. Here is another one at 80 megahertz. Hon ville själv inte förstå. Det tog lång tid innan hon släppte peruken och vågade visa sitt kart. This is an intermodulation product. We can hear two voices at the same time. surrealisten Edward James som skrivit de fyra tonsatta dikterna. Tänk på Dali var poetens uppmaning till Polank. So it seems 33 or 43% well 70 uh, I will now stop this and reboot the computer to make sure there is nothing in the cache memory and then play this recording. So now I have not only rebooted, I have also switched off the power and waited for a while to make sure that any cache memory, maybe some fast cache in the disk drive is also empty. So start Linrod and 
I press 3 to demonstrate. I have on n colon there is the x dot row which is now 0. So I press 0 and e and no. And here we are. Det är ett minne som aldrig kommer att försvinna. Efter några veckor med cellgifter hade håret börjat falla av. Först lite och alla hoppades på att det inte skulle ramla av något mer. Men sen började stora tussar lossna. I press T to get the speed indicator. Till sist gick det inte att undvika och hon bad mig göra det. Vi lånade en rakapparat av pappa. Min syster var med. Hon stod och höll mammas händer medan jag stod bakom henne med rakapparaten i handen. Reading from the solid state disk is much faster. At 40 megahertz it takes 36% of the available capacity. So the solid state disk is much better for the purpose of saving wideband recordings if you want really high bandwidth. I will click a little bit on other stations. och så vidare. Det har jag nog lite som jag kan tillföra mig och haft förmånen att vara gäst tre gånger nästan. Jag är så hemsk som en nazist som är av en ljud och hår. Det här är ju med innan för att det är det som är konstläget. Jag sa till mig själv att aldrig mer göra det. Att jag skulle låta andra göra det istället. Men så skulle det inte bli. So 40 megahertz bandwidth, that's the entire HF spectrum with some margin. So we can do that uh, with easily available hardware today.